from the Library of Congress in Washington, D.C. American News brings you our people's contribution to America and freedom. The American Youth Orchestra rehearses for its coming appearance at Carnegie Hall. Dean Dixon, noted conductor, directs. Long-honored composers and young composers will be heard in the concert. Dixon organized the orchestra as a weapon against delinquency, and his efforts have proven highly successful. Rebecca West is private cook for Mrs. Eleanor Patterson, owner of the Washington, D.C. Times Herald. Rebecca writes a daily cookery column for the paper. Our good neighbor policy is further solidified by the influx of foreign students to Howard University. They come from Africa, the Caribbean, and elsewhere. Represented here is a group of students from all over the world who have come to study at Howard University. In that group, we have six Liberian government students who have come under arrangements with the Cultural Relations Bureau of the United States State Department. They are to study in engineering and other courses and return to Africa. We also have a student from Freetown, Sierra Leone. We have students from Panama, British Guiana, uh, and other countries in the Caribbean and the West Indies. And we have also some students from the Bahamas. The students are, for the greater part, in the College of Liberal Arts. Eventually, they will get into the professional school. And a few years from then, they will turn out to be doctors, engineers, dentists, town planners, and they all have strong intentions of returning to their homeland. The Reverend George Dent is checked by a medical student, a helper at the Gordon home. Nurse Smith makes the patient comfortable. This home, interracial, offers free beds for the needy and is the only place of its kind in Washington. Mrs. Ida Smith Taylor meets a new patient. The presiding elders council of the 13th Episcopal District, comprising Tennessee and Kentucky, assembles. Bishop R. R. Wright, Jr. of Wilberforce. The meeting listens attentively as the learned bishop speaks. The session was in Young's Chapel, AME. Dr. E.A. Selby, treasurer of the AME Sunday School Union. They hear the importance of prayer. Reverend Smith of Eastern Tennessee registered. An exhibit showing the work of the Episcopal Church among the armed forces and the solace of prayer among the soldiers was a feature. During the business sessions and at the closing banquet, there were many noted speakers, making this conference a most important one in the series now being conducted. <laughs> Rehearsing for their appearance on Broadway, these youngsters, students of Mary Bruce, prepare for the big event of their lives. The teacher, Miss Mary Bruce. She decided that the best way to stop delinquency among children and keep them off the street was to let them dance under proper direction. So her group of 150, called Star Buds of 1944, made their appearance at the Belasco Theater and won the plaudits of the public and the press. This has been a presentation of the Library of Congress. Visit us at loc.gov.